Hi Nima, this is Coach Michelle from Nima Chicago. I hope everybody's staying safe. Today I've got a really good strength, upper body strength workout for you guys, and I hope you enjoy it. All you will need is going to be a set of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, we can do the same trick as last time and use a couple of water bottles, fill them right up, or a couple of water jugs, whatever you prefer. Find something around the home, something that works if you don't have the weights. Let's go. I'm all alone in my hotel room. I'm getting drunk on booze from the mini bar. I wonder what you're up to. I shouldn't call you up, I know your number by heart I see you wherever I go And you don't even know You are the stranger in the corner on the second floor You're the girl next door, the girl next door The stranger in the corner on the second floor You're the girl next door I know you're miles away from me but still I dream of you and say your name in my sleep Tell me isn't that crazy Just wanna call you up and tell you how I feel I see you wherever I go And you don't even know You are the stranger in the corner on the second floor You're the Just call you up I'm alone in room 308 Yeah, are you awake? Wish I could call you I'm gonna call you You are the stranger in the corner On the second floor You're the girl We're gonna put these two dumbbells close together right over our chest. Squeeze them together and then press up over the chest. Again, make sure it's right over your chest, not over here, not, not on top of your face. Gotta protect the money maker. And we are pressing up, squeezing them against each other. Okay, for these dumbbell bent over supinated rows, supinated means our hands are going to, our palms are going to face up. So I'm bent over at the hips, legs nice and straight. Now notice my shoulders are not hunched over. We're starting over here, shoulders straight back. We're gonna have our arms extended and then bring the elbows all the way back, passing the back using those lats, contracting those back muscles, nice and strong. Next up, we've got hammer curls. We've done these together before. Make sure that your palms are facing in towards your body. And then all we're doing is bringing these hands all the way up to your shoulders. Nice and strong. Make sure not to swing. We're not using the rest of our body here. We're just using our biceps to bring this weight up. All right, guys, time for burpees. The full burpee is chest to the ground, just like this. Chest to the ground, right back in, up up top. Maybe you need to modify. So just jump it on that, jump back in, jump up top. No need for chest to the ground. All right, let's go. For these diamond push-ups, we would make a diamond with our hands. Diamond push-ups, put your hands on the ground, make sure your spine is nice and aligned. Feet on the ground, and we're coming all the way down, all the way back up. 
all the way down, all the way back up. Now if you need to modify, feel free to put your knees on the ground. Same thing, spinal line. Your whole body's coming down, not just your upper, whole body's coming down. If that is still a little too tough and you need to modify further, feel free to just do a narrow push-up. So your hands are gonna be directly under your shoulders. You can go back on your feet if you'd like. Nice and strong, all the way down, and further modification on your knees. Still working on those triceps. Up next, we have tricep extensions. We're gonna have this same set of dumbbells, or you can go down to one. I'll show you how to do that. We're going arms straight, dumbbells together, and we're coming all the way down without moving those elbows. Now notice my elbows are pointing straight. They're not pushing out. No pushing out of the elbows. Now, if you need to modify, one down, hold between your thumb and your index finger, and we're doing the same thing. All right, grab a chair. We've got dips next. Any sort of surface that has a bit of an edge and that's gonna be stable, that's what we want for this. Now, the toughest dip we're gonna to do is gonna be with our legs all the way out and extended. We're gonna to wanna to keep our elbows pointing back. Our back is going to be as close to this chair as possible. If you need to modify, Bend the knees a little bit. That should feel a little bit easier. We need to modify further. Bend them even further. That should feel much easier. Arnold press is next. Now we are going to start with our palms facing in. Elbows nice and tight next to my torso. And we're coming all the way up and twisting so that my palms end facing out. Twist, face out, twist and press, face out, but you're coming back to palms facing in. Use those shoulders, nice and strong. All right, we've got single arm meet up top press. One arm is always gonna be up here, completely straight. Other arm is working, knee up top. You've got 12 on each side, then 10 on each side, then eight on each side. It's not just 12 total, remember that. When you're done with one arm, you've got the other arm, other arm comes up, all the way up, and we are starting back up. Okay. All right guys, this might be the only one for which you might have to go down and wait just a little bit. These are a little bit on the challenging side. Now, we're gonna start with our palms facing out, dumbbells together, down here. Now, there can be just a slight bend on your elbow, but we're not bending them as we go up. We are keeping them as straight as we possibly can. So, here we go. Round the world. Shoulders should be on fire by now. Don't forget to rest once you're done with all three exercises for the first round and start back up. Great job, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this strength workout. I hope your arms are really feeling it. Don't forget to cool down. Don't forget to stretch. And feel free to come back to our YouTube channel for more workouts.